Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of muscles in the thorax. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Muscles of the thorax can be divided into two groups. Muscles related to upper limb which include four muscles that are pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, serratus anterior and subclavius and autochthonous muscles which include external intercostal muscles, internal intercostal muscles, levator costarum, subcostal muscle, transverse thoracic muscle and the diaphragm. We will discuss each of these muscles by using origin, insertion and action in tabular form. Starting with pectoralis major. The muscle originates from the sternum the upper six costal cartilages and from the medial half of the clavicle and gets inserted to the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. The action of the muscle is adduction, flexion and medial rotation of the arm. Let's have a look. This is the origin of the muscle from the sternum, upper six costal cartilages and the medial half of the clavicle. And this is the point of insertion, the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. This muscle is pectoralis major. Next muscle is pectoralis minor. The muscle originates from the 3rd, 4th and 5th rib and gets inserted to the coracoid process of the scapula. The action of the muscle is to depress the tip of the shoulder. Let's see this muscle. As you can see, this is the point of origin, the 3rd, 4th and the 5th rib. And this is the point of insertion, the coracoid process of the scapula. This muscle is pectoralis minor. Next muscle is serratus anterior. The muscle originates from the lateral surfaces of the upper eight ribs and gets inserted to the medial border of the scapula. The action of the muscle is protraction and rotation of the scapula so that glenoid point upwards, thus helping in abduction of the upper limb. Let's have a look. These are the point of origin, the lateral surfaces of the upper eight ribs. And this is the point of insertion, that is the medial border of the scapula. This is the serratus anterior muscle. Last muscle is the subclavius. This muscle originates from the cartilage of the first rib and gets inserted to the inferior surface of the acromial end of the clavicle. The action of the muscle is to pull the clavicle down and medially. Let's have a look. As you can see, this is the point of origin, the cartilage of the first rib. And this is the point of insertion, the inferior surface of the acromial end of the clavicle. This muscle is the subclavius. With this, we complete all the muscles in the first group. Autochthonous muscles will be included in part 2 of this video. So that is it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram, links in the description.